friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a hard cataract with small people size of this people is about 3.5 millimeter let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 135 degree and now a side port this is a side port about three clock hours away from the main incision and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule this is a bit of adrenaline in this case adrenaline had no effect on the people the people didn't budge so in this case I have decided to use a people expansion device and the people expansion device that I'm going to use is B hex people expander this one and this is the B hex forceps here goes the B hex people expander the device device is taken completely into the anterior chamber and the leading flange is tucked then the flange on the left side at around one o'clock is tucked now I go through the left side port and before that I inje injected some visco because the anterior chamber became shallow and then I go through the left side port hold the middle tab of this flange and tuck this flange under the people alternate flanges are tucked and the people has taken this beautiful hexagonal shape this is another side port at around 8 o'clock and now the anterior capsule is incised and a capsular tag is raised now I'm going to use a uterator forceps here it is with the help of this uterator forceps I hold this capsular tag go anticlockwise and do a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter in some parts I went beyond the visible area to do a large rexis if I remain in the visible area the size of the rexis will be about 5 millimeter but since this is a hard cataract with nuclear sclerosis of grade 4 or grade 5 I decided to do a large rexus. Now hydro dissection is done small amounts of fluid is injected at multiple areas the nucleus is tapped gently and then the nucleus is rotated and here I find that the nucleus is rotating nicely and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 from Switzerland and here it is the FECO needle goes with bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up towards the cornea and in such cases what I do is direct job of the nucleus and I call this technique of mine as submarine job the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus that means it makes a tunnel at deeper level as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to make a nice crack and now 
I'm trying to chop this heminucleus and yes I could do it very nicely rotate the nucleus further and this nucleus is free nuclear fragment now I rotate 90 degree more hold this space and separate the two heminuclei completely and this is the other heminucleus same principle go through the substance of this cataract and chop so uh, we have got four large free nuclear fragments I tilt each nuclear fragment and start emulsifying the fragment from its apex and here it is this is the first piece and this is the second nuclear fragment I'm using very high ultrasonic energy this is 85 percent ultrasonic energy and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 45 ml per minute this is the third nuclear fragment whenever necessary the nuclear fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces and now this is the last nuclear fragment at this time we must be very cautious to emulsify this and here it is from this time I'm in FECO one mode so that I'm use using very minimal vacuum vacuum is only 50 millimeter of mercury and I'm emulsifying this last bit of nucleus with very low vacuum so that I don't catch the posterior capsule and now this is a bit of visco you can see a very small bit of nucleus this one let it come out first before I start emulsifying removing the cortical lens matter now I have gone through the 8 o'clock sideboard and removing the cortex from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock and now I inject some more visco and now I'm going through the main incision this instrument is a 23G Simco and see how beautifully you can remove the cortical lens matter now I'm going through the left side port and I removed all, all the cortex and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens this is enlargement of the main wound because when we have used BHEX people expander the lens should be delivered in the back and not over the iris if we deliver it over the iris the BHEX may get dislodged and now the lens is dialed a little bit and now this is removal of BHEX people expanded and this is removal of BHEX people expanded so the surgery is nicely done but still we have to dedicate some quality time for a removal of visco visco from the anterior chamber is removed nicely and now I'm going behind the eye wheel and removing the visco from the capsular bag this is very important 
although the size of the pupil is small we have to go in this way behind the eye well and remove the visco which is retained behind the intraocular lens in the capsular bag otherwise there will be high intraocular pressure next day and see the pupil it is round and central this is the beauty of BHEX pupil expander if we use iris hooks sphincter damage is very common and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber to remove visco the anterior chamber was getting shallow so I take help of an air bubble to maintain the anterior chamber and hydrate the corneal stroma on either side of the side ports and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded so in this case we have seen use of BHEX very clearly thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please use any kind of pupil expansion device in small pupils it makes surgery very safe if you don't have any pupil expansion device use iris hooks it is okay if we damage the sphincter but if we protect the corneal endothelium and posterior capsule that is that is more necessary than doing some damage to sphincter pupillae thank you very much for your attention